In the 80s, I did a whole series of clowns. They were all on, on uh, watercolor paper that was the same size. And they, they were fun. I liked them a lot. But what I found that what I was doing was looking at the clowns as some spiritual, you know, like an angel. If God was going to send you an angel, it might be in the, in the form of a beautiful clown that would make you laugh and that would say, it's okay, you fall, you fell down, you get up and you dust yourself and you just bounce right back in. But I, I like the idea of the wonderful panorama of clothing and bizarre, you know, and it's like it, it breaks every rule that we have uh, uh, circumscribed ourselves with. And the star clown, in a way, he's holding up the moon and the sun and he's surrounded by stars, so he's like a, a wonderful person like a, a shaman or a, just someone that's fascinating to me. I'm going to do a whole series of small silk screens, but the star clown is the beginning. And this one I, I wanted to just show you. It's not finished yet, but I wanted to show you as a work in progress. And it'll be part of a series of about eight different uh, clowns. This is just a, a facsimile uh, based on, on one of the, the paintings that I did. It was a watercolor painting and then I blew it up to size and I made my outline and based on this outline I'm, st I'm starting a silk screen and at this stage we're up to 12 colors that we've printed um, and a lot of it is the glazes and also uh, fine refinements or fine uh, dots to create like a shimmery around the clown but eventually there'll be lots of details and stars. And I hope to do a whole series of these, uh, of these images of the beautiful clowns.